hey hey mailbag 20 ish um three packages came in as a combined order uh for this mailbag i'm just going to do two of them uh i ordered both of these on january 12th they arrived january 25th 13 days that's not too bad and both of them were uh, fast delivery on orders over uh, roughly $10. So their fast delivery was not too bad. And I'm going to start with this one since it actually tells me what's there. And it says, high quality, 4-bit, electronic clock. And that's what I ordered. And 100 volt, 50 amp, mini digital voltmeter, amp meter. Well, I hope it's in there. So, let's open it up. Not too badly packed. Well, I'm going to start with the clocks. Let's move this out of the way for a time being. I'll put the store that I got these from over here. Always shop around though because uh, this supplier I've done seven orders from them two of the orders were refunded because they never shipped them uh, for the features over there it says normal walking midnight show well I hope this thing doesn't get up and walk around at midnight and the other key features these are red um, 0 0.44 inch displays. Uh, that's actually why I got this kit is because I wanted the big displays. Uh, it says it's actually a military, military grade sheet metal. I don't think so. It does say the components are small. And yes, those buttons are small. Simple installation, high success rate, not the debugger, which means I'm not the guinea pig. Good. Accurate travel time. Hmm. Can it do accurate time travel? That'd be interesting. So it's not a bad little kit. Uh, the AT89C2051 is an 8-bit uh microcontroller with um, 2k of flash on it so i'm just going to move this stuff out of the way and get to the next one i bought two sets of complete sets of these i'll just open this up presto um, volt amp uh, it's good to up to 100 volts and 50 amps and it does say right off the bat that if you don't have this hooked up and you turn it on, it'll be fried pretty well instantly. So there's the store there. And now the specs over there. And they show on the specs 0 to 100 volts. The, um, that is what it can read. The actual supply going to this piece must be between 4 to 30 volts. And if you exceed the 30 volts, it gets fried. They also have the precautionary you know, over there now. And it says, make sure you hook this up. It also says, please don't take photos if you can't use it. So if you fry it, don't post photos saying it's their fault. And small business, please be merciful. And on their website, or on the listing they actually show you and i'll put it there uh, the different adjusts that you can do 
uh, voltage trim, current trim, uh, where the power supply gets hooked up, and the current measuring uh, terminal. Because this is the 50 amp one, you'll notice right in there compared to the picture, uh, there is no shunt. And that's because, of course, you have to use this one. Then they also have how to hook this up. There's two different ways, and I'll put the first one there. And the first one has it where you've got um, four, your voltages between 4 to 28 volts. So it can be directly wired in and then going down to the shunt. So the second diagram up here is if you're going from 0 to 100 volts, in which case you use this, plug it into here, and this goes to your uh, 4 to 28 volt supply. At least the diagrams are pretty straightforward. And what I paid for these was it was $2.25 for the shunt each. And I got two of them. And it was $1.66 a piece for these. And I got two of them. Plus there was some shipping involved. And for the clocks, I uh, paid $1.87 plus shipping. Now I'm just going to get this out of the way and I'll open the next package. Okay, for this one, make sure I don't cut into anything. It's a whole bunch of one item. And one of another item. Oh. There we go. And that's empty. Okay, six, and I'll open up. Okay, the store I got these from, I'll put it over there. They're capacitive moisture sensors. This is going to be for a gardening project. And... So, here's the features over here. Um, essentially, you put in 3.3 uh, to 5.5 volts, uh, and it outputs between 0 and 3 volts. Uh, you can see the specs. And now, uh, they even include the um, wiring, uh, wiring diagram and the schematic. Uh, so that's kind of cute. Uh, the whole idea behind for this for gardening is I'm going to have a whole bunch of planters. I'll have this stuck in each of the soil and they'll all be chained together. Uh, and they'll have uh, either an Arduino or a Pico uh, monitoring it. And then if it gets too dry, it hopefully will open up a valve and then water it. But I got six of them. So that'll hopefully keep the garden happy. Now, this one here, there should be four load cells. This is what you find in your typical uh, washroom scale. Uh, put the store add thing there. So each of these is good for up to 50 kilograms. So with four of them, you could make... Uh, a scale to read up to 200 kilograms, kind of. person better stand right in the middle so it's evenly distributed. Now, I was kind of wondering what they were going to do on this one. Uh, this is a analog to digital uh, converter, and they get, give you one of them in the kit, but you need two of these because the most these will hold, carry, Let's see if I can get that in focus. No, not a hope. There we go. Um, you can connect 
up to two sensors on this. Uh, so you actually need two of these if you're going to read all four of these at the same time. And the specifications are over there. And they kind of indicate... Uh, oh yeah, this is the HX711. Um, you've probably seen these before. I think I already had a video on buying some of these. And in that video, I was more interested in also the A to D uh, because of the high resolution. And uh, also the load cells I bought previously are going into bird feeder. So these here uh, cost um, $5.67 Canadian plus some shipping. And these here actually cost $0.96 cents each. Uh, which is not too bad. Uh, this store actually did something interesting on the shipping. Even though there was two different shipping costs, um, they only charged me $1.63 for shipping, and that was the fast shipping also.